So in this video, we're going to be looking at factorising quadratic expressions. And what that really means is when you're given a value containing x squared, and that's actually what we know to be the quadratic part of the equation, you're trying to force this expression into two brackets. So let's start by drawing our two brackets and looking at the question, which is x squared plus 7x plus 6. So in order to factorise, you need to work out, and this is just the method you need, you need to work out the two numbers which add together to make that x term, so in this case 7x, and two numbers which multiply together to make that final term, which is a number standing by itself. And these numbers have to be suitable for both the x term and the number by itself. So we're going to start by writing x at the start of each bracket. Now what numbers add together to make 7? Well, 4 and 3. Although 4 and 3 add together to make 7, which is good, when you multiply them together, they make 12, which is bad because we're looking for 6. Now let's try 6 and 1. So 6 and 1 add together to make 7, which is good, and they multiply together to make 6, which is also good. So we found our two values, and then we can just substitute them in, and that is your final answer. And then remember, you can use the FOIL method in order to work out if your answer is correct. So I'm just going to change colours to show this. So remember, FOIL is your method used for expanding brackets, which stands for first, outside, inside, and last. So according to that, when we expand our brackets, we need to look at the first values first of all. So that's going to be x squared. The outside terms is going to be 1 times x, which is just x. The inside terms is going to be 6 multiplied by x, which is 6x. And then our final or last term is going to be 6 multiplied by 1, which is 6. Collect together your like terms and you'll see that yes, your answer was correct. So that bit I've done in pink is just proving that my answer is right. And in maths, it's always good to check your answer if you can. Part B, we're factorising x squared minus 7x plus 12. So we need our two brackets. We know that x goes in the front of the bracket. And now we're looking for two numbers which add to make minus 7 and multiply to make positive 12. So what could those numbers be? Well, let's try minus 6 and minus 1 first of all. So minus 6 add minus 1. Remember, that effectively means take away is minus 7, which is perfect. However, when you multiply minus 6 by minus 1, you get positive 6, which is not the same as positive 12. So that doesn't work. Let's now try minus 4 and minus 3. So minus 4 minus 3 equals minus 7, which is perfect. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 is 12 because remember two minus signs when multiplied together become positive and yes that agrees with what we need so now we're just going to substitute in those values it doesn't matter which way around you put them into the equation and then using foil we're going to multiply out those brackets just to prove that we've got our answer right and i'm going to change color again to do that so let's multiply out our first values which is x squared then our outside values which is minus 3x inside values which is minus 4x and last values which is minus 4 times minus 3 which is plus 12 collect together like terms and compare to your original expression it's the same so we know that our answer here is correct in this example we're being asked to factorize x squared plus 3x minus 28 so we're looking for two numbers that add to make 3 and multiply together to make minus 28 starting with our two brackets as usual. So what numbers add to make 3? Well, that's going to be quite difficult. In this case, I recommend starting with the multiplying to get to minus 28, just because that's a far more difficult number to reach. And you'll be there all day if you're trying to work out two numbers that add to make 3. Let's pick, first of all, minus 14 and positive 2, because if you multiply together minus 14 and positive 2, then you get to minus 28, which is perfect. However, does minus 14 added to 2 get to 3? No, it's minus 12. So that's wrong. Even though it's fine for the multiplying to get to minus 28, it doesn't work for the adding to make 3. Let's pick another couple of sets of numbers. 
So how about minus 7 and 4? Because when we multiply those together, we get minus 28, which is great, which is what we're after. When you add minus 7 to 4, though, you get minus 3, which is incorrect because we're looking for positive 3. So what happens if we just reverse those signs to make it 7 times minus 4? So yeah, you get minus 28, which is great. And then 7 plus minus 4 is 3, which is correct. So we finally got our set of numbers, which is plus 7 and minus 4. Let's do one last example here. So x squared minus 4x minus 5. So two numbers that add together to make minus 4 and multiply to make minus 5. Here are our two brackets. And this one's going to be quite straightforward. So in terms of two numbers that add together to make minus 4, how about minus 5 and 1? And that does make minus 4, which is good. If we multiply minus 5 by 1, we get minus 5, which again is good. So we can go straight in and pop in those values to get the right answer. Right, I hope you found this video helpful, guys. Don't forget to like and sub if you haven't already, and I'll be back very soon.